All right, we're back. Welcome back. I have some Tension Tamer tea. I saw... Uh, I totally didn't have a cold brew and an energy drink right after. I saw Divine said, what's his best supposed to be a man? Because I made an instant minus $60 from my bank. There isn't... Rumors might have been, like, the wrong way of putting it, but basically in Ex Rescue Team DX, when you do... Uh, when you, like, basically get, like, 100%, you can get a bonus like party member which is like a shiny celebi which obviously is like a big thing in explorers of sky so basically ever since that became like a widespread thing people like knowledge people have been saying like maybe that's a hint they're going to remake explorers of sky as well yeah. uh, it, there's not even so not even anything close to like a, oh this is definitely happening but like it, it'd be neat to see and i would love it splish we're gonna enter the funny zone welcome back i have no idea what's happening don't worry about it uh, fuck it, you're gonna brew yourself some peach tea, hell yeah. Sips coffee with severe thunderstorm warning according to my phone. Hey, Michael, and also, yeah, I just, just saw the lightning a good two seconds ago. That was gonna be the next thing we we're gonna say. Um, yeah, that, that was weird. If it, uh, if it starts, like, like, downpouring, we may have to cut the stream. Yeah, so essentially, um, it, it's, it's very bad lightning out. So, there's this side quest we're gonna do now. She's looking for her daughter. Mm-hmm. And you can walk around and get hints. But you already know where she is. But I do know where she is, and I can't access that till well, it's fuck night. Shiny, fuck Shiny Selby, yeah, pretty much. Gotta send pics of my new home in the depths of the super volcano. All right, man. That doesn't have to be a hint. It'd be like a cute little reference. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So there's nothing like, oh, that's definitely a hint. But it's like at the same time, people are just people are just hopeful because they just like explore the sky a lot. I mean, I'd be okay with it. Yeah. I'd be very okay with it. Hey, feeling a bit better. I've got problems too, but I gotta put on a brave face to do that. Unhappiness rolls off like water on a loft wing's back. Try to keep that in mind. Oh, you know what? That actually reminds me. Um, so, because I was gonna make a joke about how, like, Explorers of Sky was the only DS game we didn't play on the solder on DS. It was all... That one's actually in the virtual console on the Wii U. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess sometime soon... Yeah. I I guess sometime in the pretty near future, uh, the eShop on the Wii U and 3DS is no longer going to let you add money to it. That's weird. Well, because they don't support those systems anymore. So that's Yikes. so that's going to be a thing. So the eShop's finally dying. Yeah. Well, the, those versions of the eShop, I guess. Can't get in the Zelda's room. Miss Lewis lives in the Wii Sports Resort volcano now. <laughs> Oof. On the other hand, almost every Pokemon game is remade eventually. It's just a question of it's a question of when, not if. Pretty much, yeah. Where's my Pokemon Ranger remakes, Nintendo? <laughs> speaking of evils, speaking of volcanoes, I have evils to get up to. I have the oh, okay. child. Child. I live at the bottom of the ocean. That sounds fun. I love them. Who wants to go with you? Do you want to try to draw circles on the Switch, Jameson? No, not at all. But it'd be fucking hilarious to watch them try to make Rangers a thing on a non on a on a, like a TV. <laughs> the rain has started, and Egypt is shaking. Thank you, Michael. So I can sleep in someone else's bed. They changed that. Oh. Huh. No, no, they fucking they make it fucking motion. I just slept oh, in probably. her room. She seems okay with it. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, right. This side quest. What? No, not that that side quest. No, I mean I forgot that one was in this game too. Yeah. But you can't open the closets. Nope. So let's also go to Stretch and see what he's got for bugs while it's nighttime. Dude, now you got me thinking about Pokemon Ranger, but how we call it, carve circles on the Switch. I mean, in handheld mode, it would just be, that'd be fine, but, like, I get, I think you'd have to do a motion controlled. You ever play Pokemon Ranger? No. They were, they are pretty good. I only played oh, the first two. You, what do you want with me? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Right. See, I never played Guardian Signs. Well, I just never got around to that one. Would you like it if I was in your closets, Roy? Pokemon Ranger was a hidden gem. Pokemon Ranger was pretty fun. I like I played the first two a lot as a kid. I like to believe he's Beatles' kid. 
They do have similar haircuts. And hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever want to sell any bugs, you usually hang out here at night. You won't just buy any bug again day. Yeah, so you only buy specific bugs. Mm. You want to do this deal at night. Yep. Guardian Sizes has had ukulele peach you. I loved him and I missed Ooh, him. Ooh, yes. Touch the bee doof. Shannon. Touch. Touch. Oh, yeah. So you don't know. Okay. In Guardian Sizes. So basically, Pokemon Ranger, the, the, the whole lore thing is that you don't catch Pokemon. You basically just borrow them to, like, help you, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you put them back in the wild. Um, but you have a partner who is always with you. In the first game... You had a Plusle or a Minin, I think, depending on your gender or something. And then in Shadows of Aldnia, you could pick between a whole bunch of them and trade them out. I guess in Guardian Signs, you had Oops. the boy, Ukulele Pichu. Aww, <laughs> the baby. I love him. I don't, I don't really know why he needs a guitar, but I am okay with it. It doesn't matter why he needs one he has one yeah i too will link trade bugs at night <laughs> sins by remote being fucking clean you draw loops trying your pokemon makes pokemon love you yeah because he jams <laughs> so it is now night you let him fucking rock i'm not i'm not saying he can't i'm just saying i'm just i'm wondering where he got it we had 20 blessed butterflies and we sold them all for 100 rupees so we oh, also man. have a little bit excess once we get that rupee bag, which is super pogging. Sweet. <laughs> so we gotta do this side quest. You'll let him fucking shred that guitar. I, I was not planning on trying to stop him. I, I, you, you misunderstand. <laughs> so, if you talk around to other NPCs, mm -hmm. um, they're gonna mention that it looks like she was with a weird guy. Which is kind of creepy um yeah unfortunate it's unfortunate yeah and it's also weird how in this universe kidnapping is a thing when then you all live on one island you ever think about that i mean you could just take them on your bird and fly them off somewhere else to be honest i forget the exact which one it is roy runs the bug black market i learn something new every day i can flick animal crossing hey you might need to look this up why because I need the order. Just push all of them. I don't think it's gonna work with all of them. Just give it a try. I believe in you. Good to know that the entire time these guys have been here, only nine people have died. Or, yeah. It's a three by three, right? I think I fucked yeah. this up. Hercules Beetles by the gallon. Friend time. This tea about to hit different. Alright, hold on. Let me look at this. Skyward. Sword. You have to make sure it's HD. HD. They might have changed it for HD. Right. Tombstone. Tombstone puzzle. Unless I need to talk to someone else, but I thought it was just her mom. Talk to mom. Oh, I didn't go to the Lumpy Pumpkin. I think I need to do that. Yeah, it says you need to talk to Oriel and Skyloft and Rusta the Lumpy Pumpkin. Okay. Oops. And then it'll open it up. It, well, to be fair, some games with these kind of quests, they some games make you get the hints, and some games let you just be like, if you already know the hints, you can just do it, you know? It's, it's always worth the check. Fun fact, I forgot my fun fact, dang it. <laughs> I think you just mess with headstones. I would do. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that like the headstones are on like a runner where you can push them back and forth like that. Yeah. Plot twist: you clearly peach actually came to you on loan from Mick Kortov. I have a fun fact. What's the fun fact, missile? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, no one is paying us for this, huh? Yeah. Did you person can outrun a bear missile? I'm gonna fucking slap you. 
I love material gain. Fucking so do I. Subscribe to the Pixel. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Your words hurt me. I'm sorry, okay? Are you, though? I saw an opportunity, and I took it. Sorry, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sleep in her bed again. I know, Roy. I know you did. I'm sorry. You can't slap men on the other side of the country. Watch me. This is splishy. Guardian signs anime. Guardian signs manga. There was a Guardian signs anime? I literally just gifted two subs. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. Gruce. Oh. How do I ungift my subs? Uh. Can't even make you drink pirate piss this time. That is true. That is true. There's no pirate piss here. No pirate piss to be found. I want to know who's reading the Pokemon manga. Uh, probably Dusk at this current exact moment. Basically, he told me the Pokemon manga is pretty fucking cool. Mm. I haven't fucking. I think the last time I watched a Pokemon anime was like Gen 4. Like, I have not. I've watched like the original. Yeah. Mm. You never even watched, like, Johto or anything? No. Damn. I just had what I had on VHS. Gotcha. I remember when I saw the Johto anime on Boomerang. Oof. You know what the worst part was? That was, like, nine or so years ago. Like, that was a long time oh. ago. That's awful. Yep. This is my favorite way to catch bugs. Jameson, stop hurting me. I'm sorry. Where's that other girl? Isn't she normally around here? Violently shake net. Violently shake net. There you go. Uh, it was this chick. If that helps. Right. I'm trying to find that chick because she's the cute one. I grew up watching season one. Fucking oh, there she is. Same. And I fucking and I feel just as old. I promise. I'm so happy. Good. I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad. I'm, She's so adorable. I'm glad I haven't scared you people away. Apparently, apparently in the original Yu-Gi-Oh manga, the card game that would become Yu-Gi-Oh is the one game they ever was. The rest of the time was just poker, or chess, some normal shit. Yeah, it was supposed to be a manga about playing other games, but then the Yu-Gi-Oh took off. I was on boomerang. I was in middle school. I came from middle school walk in my house so I can whack him with a bug net. We're gonna do two quests at once, so I actually have to get rid of a fairy. Rip. I'm just bobbing up and down because I'm back to vibing in stream. I got a slushie, a pizza in the oven. Who's this cute lady? <laughs> you got your priority straight, Splishy. I respect that. Yep. Her name's Oreo. Good old Oreos. No, it's like an Oreo bird. Good old Oreos. I'm gonna fucking shit on you. Oreos. You're driving me crazy. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You know what? I'm gonna look Bird. for the Bird has a rupee. Is Boomerang even still a channel? Hold on. Boomerang. Channel. Don't make me feel old. There we go. Boomerang with a key. Let's see. Program. Current. Oh god. That thunder was terrifying. No thank you. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that on the mic, but uh, that is... Mm. <laughs> Let's see. What the fuck? Can I not see shows on here? So we're gonna do two quests at once. Launched. Oh. Close. Performer names. Availability. Huh. Apparently Wikipedia will tell you what, what channel to go to to find 
certain shit based on what kind of cable you have. <laughs> That's funny. Um... Showers? I see. Oh, here you go. Boomerang. Hit the gravestone nearest to the tree. Okay, I think before it was furthest. Oh, okay. Feels weird being in stream again because last time I was in stream this long was before my birthday. Damn, yeah, it's been a while. Well, we're glad to have you back. Should I pay for online and for Nintendo Online actually so I can show other people my awful island? Of course you should. Alright, so I have to bring it to the commander within five minutes. Oh, they call it Boomerang because it comes back. I thought it's because it has Boomer Shouts. <laughs> uh, little column, eh? Little column. Baby, can you look where the Knight Commander is? Because I don't remember where he is. I have five minutes. I want to say he's in Skyloft, or he's that guy who does the sword. Yeah, yeah it's the sword guy, Aegis. So he's just where he was, like the tutorial. Oh, the tutorial guy, okay. Aegis, yeah. I remember Boomerang having like Yogi Bear and Jess and that kind of shit. Feels Banana Splits show. It feels weird being 18, doesn't feel right. It only gets worse. Ooh. Is it free? Uh, streaming services. Oh, probably not. Let's see. I don't see Pokemon on here anymore. Yeah, they probably took that because that shit still makes money. True. Mm -hmm. I want to meet Yogi Bear in person before realizing it isn't Yogi and getting more. <laughs> Why are you bullying me? Freaking, I stabbed myself with my straw. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Yogi Bear in person before realizing it isn't Yogi getting mauled. <laughs> oh Holy my god. Uh, There's a couple of things we have to do with Lumpy Pumpkin, I think. I used to have. Uh, I fucking used to have when I was a kid, like the VHS of the Yogi Bear movie where like they were like trying to save Easter or something. Mm -hmm. You remember that? And like they saved the chicken from the Easter egg factory or something mm -hmm. that was a weird movie pumpkin pumpkin i want big metal straws shannon has like bamboo straws and shit yeah she's a fucking hippie fuck you they're nice it's better than metal clinking on your teeth you know bamboo's softer Fair enough. you remember cereal straws Love those. I don't think I ever got a chance to. I always use pure wets or whatever they're called. Oh yeah. And I would put them in a glass of chocolate milk. Do those have a hole in them? They used to. Oh. Or like hot cocoa and it would kind of melt. I need large straws for milk tea and. Boba. All right, I'm going back to the lumpy yeah. pumpkin because I think I have to do one more thing. Yeah, but... isn't it like three side quests? I think it's technically three small events, but I know. It's worth doing. I remember that. Yes. I consume metal for breakfast. If cyberpunk becomes real, I'm getting a telescoping straw inside my mouth and nothing else. <laughs> little minor upgrade. Excuse me. Retractable straw. Yeah, you're like a fucking xenomorph, but instead of a little mouth, it's just a straw. You think you're a fucking mosquito. Get down on the ground, you motherfucker. Ah, eat shit, stupid bird. Don't let me forget the rupee bag, the whole reason we came back up here. Yep. We have Jared now, so we can we can we can call Beetle without wasting any ammo. So is that a house meant to look like a pumpkin or do they grow one huge pumpkin and hollow out to make a house? Oh actually it looks like man. It's a first. house. Okay. Cyberpunk so is real mouth myself with Max Augments of hope of getting hacked and exploded. Oh, and I guess also made my cock vibrate or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the two the two necessities straw in the mouth vibrating cock oh come back and see me later oh okay i mean you know you say that but if cyberpunk were real chicks could probably just make their own bits vibrate and wouldn't need us anymore oh my it's true cease Back to Skyloft. Yeah, let's go get the rupee bag. Rupee bag, rupee bag, rupee bag. Gotta get the rupee bag. Gotta get the rupee bag. Ooh. Hi. I have this chick. Looks like she's from like Emperor's New Groove. She's cute. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to leave. I'm sorry. I'm just. I told him stop. I'm just telling it like it is. 
and fix it and how these people drink soup from bottles and how much I hate it. Is it bad I've always wanted to make pumpkin soup and put it in a bottle? Like one of my little herb bottles that I have that looks just like a Zelda bottle. Oh. Is this a warning regards to my previous Discord statements? All right, all right. I know, I saw that and then I almost cried. Sad. Fuck. Do you really need to fly through the rock? No, but like it makes it faster. Bottled slash canned drinks are better for some reason. Yeah, that's true. I think bottles are better. It's more like a thermos than a bottle, I assume. I mean, those bottles look like they're made of glass to me. All right, gotta run. Gotta blast. I think it's more concerning that the dude just drank an entire bottle of pumpkin soup in like two seconds. He chugged it. He's he's playing with swords all day. It takes a lot of energy. <laughs> glass thermos sounds like it slaps though. Heavy glass is in fact an insulator. Oh, see there you go. It would work. Go, Jared. Go. I wish I could make him go faster. We can if we upgrade him. I know. We can make him better. We can rebuild him. We can rebuild. Go, Jared. You can do it! Yeah! We made out of the same glass as science beakers and stuff. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that, that could work. Drink the science soup. He rise. Rise. I have an itch, by the way. I'm not being gross, I promise. You don't have to tell me that. I know, I just feel bad. I don't want you to think I'm just picking my nose. However, it stressed me out because glass is scary. He ascend. Alright. Oh. Ruby bag. Which we, we literally need to be able to buy the other ship from him, basically. Yeah. There we go. 300. Okay. Thank you! I love how that's literally the same sound bite from Wind Waker. Like, that mm. is the same sound. They did not re record shit. 600. Thank you! Thank you! Well, hold on, hold on. Go, we need to show this off. Go back in. You and I are on the same page. Yep. Oh. Essentially. He bikes to keep it in the air. Life's all very eco-friendly. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to show off. Go, go back in, goddammit. Look, look at something, don't buy anything, and then oh, leave. Oh, I forgot that's how you trigger yeah. it. Is that meta time? <laughs> no, don't buy it, goddammit. <laughs> I mean, that's good, because then I can add an extra 600. No, and I need to leave and come back again. I know. Oh. I want to jam the gears in his flying shop so he falls to the earth. Don't be mean to Beetle. He's a good boy. Beetle is a good boy. Hey, Missile, this might make you feel better. So we say no. Please, wait a moment. Don't you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything? Off with you! I love that. And it literally just pops you in a random spot on the map, too. Yep. Like, you can land, like, headfirst on the stairs and shit. I love that it does no damage, either. Like, yeah. Link just ate that. So, plus 600. I love how in, like, pretty much every game... Up to 900. I love how pretty much in every game, uh... Like, Beetle is just an all unapologetic dick. I mean, yeah. That's what Missile would do. What if he drops you into the sky? I think he can only drop you on Skyloft, but it'd be hilarious I if he could sequence break with him somehow. I love how pissed he sounds when he speaks. He's, he's... Oh! Thank you! Thank you! And now we can buy some more potions from uh, Farquaad's mother. Don't make fun of her. She's great. No, she's... She's a witch! Yeah? She should make a spell to fucking stop her chin for trying I to eat the rest of her I also love how they body. took out the baby crying. I love how that baby has like eight polygons total. Look at him. 
<laughs> he's like a square. <laughs> Look at him. I don't have a hornet. Look at the fucking baby. Are you guys seeing this cute. shit? No, look at that. No, he's not. Look at that fucking baby. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> he's cute. Square baby. I love cube children. Ooh. I was once a polygonal baby. Oh, better shield. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, so there's like no reason to just upgrade your wooden shield and shit. Because like you can just get these metal ones. And they're only a hundred. I need to get more rupees. Can we sell shit in this game? Oh, Beatrice. I like that guy. <laughs> that guy, I, I think, I think most, I think anyone who's worked in retail can relate to that guy. But oh, okay. It's only twenty, though. We had what sixty-three? Yeah. Hmm. We still, we still gotta finish up that that side. Oh, 54. We still have to finish up that side quest uh, yeah. at night time. So we'll, we'll have time to grind up like forty-ish rupees. Yeah. That shopkeep. The shopkeep that holds back the wrath of God. <laughs> Patrice looks like a Russian elf. <laughs> Oi, it's I, a whole thing with Patrice. I make the toys comment. I also found me once I became a Cramorant man. <laughs> I love it. Roy, don't be mean to the Russians. I like elves. You saying you don't like the Russians? <laughs> That's a little fucked up, Roy. Don't be mean. Roy's being mean to the Russians. <laughs> There we go, 70. There you go. So I only need 30. It's gonna be mean to you. Now understandable. <laughs> Whoa. So this feels weird to be playing this game again. I know, it feels like not long ago, but it was over a year. Yeah. Russians are cool master rampant homophobia. They're I'm tanks sleeping though. in Corrine's room again. She has yarn. She knits. Yeah, she made that fucking bird over there. I bet. Probably. Isn't it if we check your closet every time we come back we get five dollars yeah something like that hi beanie hi sweetie hi hey bud what's up bother i'm the cutest bother i'm the sweetest little baby oh pet the kitten all right Knew that was coming. Yep. Come here, bud. Come here. Beanie. Come here, bud. Come here. You want more pets? You gotta come here. You gotta, you gotta do it in the microphone. <laughs> Beansington third. His name is Beanie Baby. Oh my god. Or Beanie Michael Baby. What? His, his middle name is not Michael. It is. It is not. It is. No. Beanie Michael Baby. No, his middle name is not Michael. I refuse. What do you mean you refuse? I refuse. You can't just refuse your own child. I can. No. That's what my dad did. <gasps> Alright, I'm gonna hopefully not unplug the mic while I do this. Uh, I'm gonna need you to move your arm. It was the one closest to the tree. Hello? Did I, like, fuck this up? His middle name is Steven. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hello. There we go. Let me check the thing. Why is it not working? Hit the tombstone's back left corner nearest to the tree. 
put, pull or push the tombstone. This will open the door. So you need to hit it, and it'll light up. Oh. And then push okay. it. Okay. Thank you. I'll make sure the audio's not fucked now. I'm moving the mic. Uh. uh oh. Is everything okay? I think so. Okay, yep, we're good. Beanie Keeper of the Lost Circles of Hell, baby. Yeah, there you go. You got it. You ready to meet the lad? Eek. Beans is now just in my lap for the foreseeable future. He's a good boy. Yeah. Poor baby. I love the concept of this character. Yeah, he looks a lot cooler already. Oh my, my god. god. Never mind. Never mind. I thought the yellow bits were supposed to just be his eyes. That's what I thought too. <laughs> Oh, uh. Hello. <laughs> oh, please, I beg you, don't hurt me. Oh, goodness, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you, I mean no harm. We're just playing the scream as loud as you can get game. <laughs> uh, isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an exclama explanation's in order. My name is Betro, and I am a monster who resides here in the humble dwelling below Skylock. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I've felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish has become friends with all the lovely people of Skylock. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with more joy than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend a claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've been seeing a walking nightmare. All right, silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Seems when humans make each other happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking in them and knowing there is such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Would you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure, bud. Why not? Truly, you'll help me. I've heard you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. It could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all gratitude crystals as you can. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. So in our original playthrough, I planned to get all the gratitude crystals, and I just didn't. We're gonna change that in this playthrough. No, I think you got all of them, and then just didn't bring them back. Hi. You either way, you were like close, bro. What's this dude flapping about? <laughs> Poor boy. Bye, Mel. Oh, missile's going. to try to go for my phone goes critical. My return maybe depends on aggressive. All right, bye, missile. Thanks for bye, coming missile. by. Bye, missile. Can these gratitude crystals be smoked or snorted? Unsure. Who said that? Divine. Oh. The clouds must be grateful. So basically, when you do side quests, you get you get Mario Galaxy Star Bits, and if we get all of them, aka if we do every side quest, we can help this dude become human. Can they be eaten? Almost certainly. Anything can be eaten if you're brave enough. Can they be sold for a high price on the black market? Maybe. I need answers. I need answers. I need answers now. I've got a lot of gratitude crystals and he moving. Hey, Splishy. These things get evil at night. I gotta make money. <laughs> oh, God. Those things get evil at night. They're not fun. No. That's terrifying. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing now? Shannon, that's a bad. 
That is not a bug. Very accurate to cats. That is true. I wonder how many of those cats got the zoomies and then ended up running right off the cliff. I bet you they do it for fun. <laughs> Alright. I love how they have stamina fruit just conveniently. Yeah. I, I like the stamina bar, honestly. Like, I, yeah. I, I love it. You know, it's nice to actually have a run button. They go from cute and snuggly to vicious in a second. Yep. Just like beans. Just like beans. Well, be beans... I don't think beans has ever scratched me, like, on purpose. Yeah. Well, lately, anyway. Just going back in her room, I guess. Go into your own damn room. Eh. What did I need the 100 rupees for? Shield. Iron shield. Or the steel shield or whatever. You need to go see what bugs that weirdo wants. That's true. Like, he might coincidentally want some of the ones we have. That's actually a good idea. There we go. Gross. That's us. Let me see how many... Let's get our free five closet dollars. Yeah. Yay. It's my savings account. <laughs> My Bitcoin, you my, know? My Bit Rupee. How come these are the only dudes who share a room? Don't know. Ooh. Woodland Rhino Beetle, Volcanic Ladybug, Sky Stag Beetle. Do we have any of those? Yep. How many have we got there? Two. I'll sell both of them. Yeah, because we can, we can get more bugs easily. Fuck. That guy scares me. He's just a he's just an innocent bowling pin trying to increase his bug collection. <laughs> there we cool. go. Now we can get that shield. No problem. Nice. See, easy peasy. I don't know what his deal is, but look at him. Makes me feel short and I hate it. He's too long. Lorge. Alright. Daytime. Gratitude crystal. They're literally just star bits. Well, that's what they're inspired from, is from the candy. Yeah, but they're literally just star bits. I wonder if they taste the same. I bet you they do. They look like gummies. <laughs> it's a fucking gusher. I've had those candies, they're good. Yeah? Kinda honey-y. Hmm. I found out how tall Jameson and Michael are, and I'm angry and short. <laughs> yeah, Jameson is a very long lad. Yee. I'm 5'3 and 3 quarters inches. I'm short. Gotta, gotta, gotta put extra emphasis on my 3 quarters inches. Fuck you. I grew every little bit, alright? Oh yeah, Carnifex, I'm 5'2. <laughs> Y'all are short. I'm sorry. You're mean. I know. Shield. Shield. Damn, that's James. I'm 5'6", so I still get violence rights against tall people. Violence rights. You putting the windshield away for right now? Yep. Elden ore, monster claw, and an ornamental skull. Okay. Tumbleweed, ancient flower. Okay, I can't even. No, not even that's, that's a while off. And a scatter shot's in. Eh. Yeah, scatter shot we don't really need anytime soon. Fairy in a pouch. Being 5'2 gives me no violence rights. Only gives me the right to get a kitchen chair so I can reach the middle and top shelf of the cabinet. 
I am just tall enough to be oppressive in fencing. Oh, because you got that extra reach. Just lean over and tag a dude out immediately. Why did the camera just do that? I don't know. Oh, she's not up here. Who are we looking for? The lady. No, we don't need it. We already found her damn kid. We need to talk to her to get gratitude crystals, you ding dong. Oh. Uh. Uh, sure, no, you do. Uh, I think I know where she is. Okay. What was the kid's name? Pookio. Uh, looks like they're just at their house. Yep. I don't know where that is, though, so good luck with that. I am. Hey. Nope, there we go. She's so cute. Uncle Bats. All the gravitude cackles. Uh. Uh, so yeah, every time you do a side quest, they just produce crystals. Got those extend to arms so I can watch them do his attack and two inches to my chest and be like, ha, nice whiff, now perish. <laughs> you we are already beat. dead. Got six scratchy crystals. Is there any more side quests we could do, like, right now? Nope. No? Nope. R really? Yep. Not a damn thing. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have an incredible picture. Frag. I love Frag. Oh, yes, Frag. He's a good boy. So we can now hold up to 900 rupees, which is fucking awesome. 900 rupees, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, I can. Hold on. Okay. He's worried about something. Why him have told us that's kind of you? You see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she didn't come home yet. Oh, but I was like, having I'm worried sick thinking about it. Would you mind helping me look for her? She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I expect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Pixel. Alright, perfect. Let's do. So we can, and this is actually a good side quest because this gives us a good reward. Whoa! Whoop, whoop. So she was looking for the colorful island, which is over here. However... I believe she's on one of those smaller islands, so let me just set up a beam so I know where to look. Yeah, the good old good old colorful island that looks like the fucked up roulette you fight King Boo on in Sunshine. Whee! Isn't this about the point where our Wiimote fucked up in the yep. original? There she is. Man, so we didn't even get like fucking halfway through this game before fucking no. shit went to before everything went to shit. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, that was a fun time. Here she is. Whoa. Well, if it isn't Pixel, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now he can't fly. I may have had a crash landing, but now we can't get home. Need I need medicine to get him healthy. Can't be human medicine, it has to be bird medicine. Need your help, will you get some bird medicine for me? Oh, well, sure, where the fuck do we get bird medicine? Easy. Bird medicine, bird medicine. Okay. Man, it's a wonder this doesn't happen more often. What do you mean? Like, people's yeah. birds getting hurt while they're out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere and just getting stranded. I mean, to be fair, what do they have to hurt themselves on? What the hell happened on her bird? I mean, that's just evil birds in the sky. I mean, I guess that's fair. You know, if, like, I don't know, lightning? Why don't one of these assholes help her? They don't have bird meds. Is this the game where one of the boss fights you're shooting a cannon against some weird land whale? Yes. Y yeah. This game's weird. I like the weirdness. Yeah, no, it's 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 good weird, mostly. Hey, dude. Found her. No. Mushroom spores. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we, we get, get a bottle. A bottle. Yeah, sweet. The bird sprained a wing ankle. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had the chance to use stuff inside. Sweet. 
Empty bottles are useful. They are very useful. You'd think Link would just go eat a fucking jar of ragu or something and keep the fairies in that, but... You know how bad his heartburn would be if he just gulped down ragu like a Powerade? I'm Italian. GMSA. I don't believe in heartburn. <sighs> Speaking of which, I should probably make that ground turkey after a stream. I could pound down a thing of ragu like it was Gatorade. It could make you fall. And I'd be fine. Fly like a uh, loft wing. Wee. So if you don't pull up the sailcloth, you just take damage when you hit the ground? Yes. Okay. I love her bird, how it has the same breed. <laughs> yeah. Do you think she did it herself, or do you think the bird had that naturally, and she's like, now I know how to do my hair? She did it herself. There you go. Oh, he has a collar. I didn't even notice that. Look at him. Mm -hmm. That the collar does not fit. I'm just imagining Jansen reaching the fridge, pulling a jar of tomato sauce from a poor stream and popping it open. Start the stream with the world's most obnoxious Gratitude slurp. crystals. <laughs> next, next subathon. That's exactly what I'll do. Instead of soda, you'll just have me taking shots of fucking spaghetti sauce. Ugh. There she goes. I, read, I had waffles, eggs, and ham for dinner tonight. You read that right? Shit was cash. Hell yeah. Everyone's having night breakfast. What the fuck? I know. It's sad. I want night breakfast. You're not going to go to the Rainbow Island. Can we not do that mini game yet? I don't have enough rupees. Oh, okay. Alright, so. We got our shield. We saved the lady. I don't know if I need to talk to that guy again. Uh, he, he might. Yeah, I was going to say, he might give you grass crystals. So let me just check on that real quick, and if not, we'll head down. <laughs> For every sub, Jameson tries a different kind of pre-made spaghetti sauce. Oh, God, Oh, yeah. my God. That would be hilarious. That'd be amazing. Who said that? We're writing that <laughs> Drew down. It. Drew it. <laughs> yeah, I think he gives us gratitude. And that's like, this is a, this is a disgrace to Italy. Yep. Mint. Mint. Five. So we already got, like... And I forget, we, but there's milestones for these, right? Yeah. In fact, yes. We have now hit that milestone, so let's stay the night. Okay. Because if I remember correctly, that's actually super fucking worth it. Yeah, weren't his wallet upgrades? Yes. Okay. I am remembering. I think the first one at least is a wallet upgrade. So you're not just literally drinking straight tomato sauce and you have garlic bread or pasta and you do it. No, you know what? We'll do, we'll do you one better. We'll do... <laughs> Heartburn is gonna suck. It'll be like every sub is not only a different kind of pre-made sauce, but like a different brand of garlic bread or something. Oh my gosh, I would actually love that. I don't know how many brands of garlic bread there are, though. There's a lot. We could even get, like, Pizza Hut garlic sticks. Oh my god, I want those so bad. <laughs> Night again. Sticks. I sleep in Bug Boy's bed. I'm sure you won't catch anything. Please. Oh. Could you really not sleep in anyone else's bed? Nope. Huh. Like use use like a random number generator to have the combinations. Oh, that'd be so fucking funny too. All right. Let me go talk to the lad. Sorry, this side questing's taking a little longer than I thought it would. I mean, it's good to get. It's literally just Fuck! Either, I have to go all the way up the stairs. I hate how that door is locked. It's literally just we either do it now or we do it later. You know? Yeah. And especially because I kind of, you know, with Skyward Sword uh, that we played first, I didn't 100% it. I kind of want 100% this. I, I think you did 100%. It's just we forgot to go back and give him the last of the crystals because we got sucked into the end of the game. Got another one. Let me look up what the milestones are. just so I we think there's sure. one in the bath, actually. Nope. I wonder what was happening in the bath that made someone drop a gratitude crystal. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> Let's see. I know there's a ton of... Like, most of them are up here, but... 
5, 10, 30, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80. And then 80 is max. Yeah, so we got 5 and 10. Yep. So 30 is going to happen soon because I know more side quests are going to be unlocked. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Ooh. God damn it. I want RNG generated sauce and garlic bread now. What? Oh, bug. Where'd he go? Random animal fact. Alright, well, here we go. Let's see. What kind of random animal facts could I could I indulge you in today? Did you know that? Thanks. What? Did you know? Did you know? I just make funny. That uh, an anteater is nearly six feet long, but its mouth is only an inch wide because you know they eat fucking ants. They don't really need their mouth to be that big. I have forty k channel points. Jesus Christ. Nice. Tonight's a busy night, but I want to say I love the drawing divine. I wish I could draw that kind of build. I'm currently working on an axle doodle. Hell yeah. Get a deep, get a deep fryer, buy a bunch of different kinds of cheese and bread to keep in <laughs> deep fry for marinara sampling. So we got the medium wallet. So we got that to store up to 500 rupees, and then we bought an extra two of the mini wallets. Yeah, 500, so. 500 becomes the new base before the ad additions that Beetle gives us. And then and, and we heart got a heart piece. Call it subathon three lost in the sauce. Oh God! So, so we, we can hold now up to one thousand and ten rupees, which is fucking awesome. Yeah, it's eleven hundred rupees. One thousand one hundred. You said a thousand and ten. I meant to say one thousand one hundred. Sorry, I'm stupid. You're fine. Oh, personal cat pick. Give missile a surprise cat pick. Okay. Aw. We can do that. Uh, you know what? I can probably just do that right now. I have some funny pictures of beans if you want to send them. I literally don't even take selfies of myself. I'm like, oh my god, I love my son. And I just take pictures. Uh, my phone's dead, though. Yeah, I got 12%. I can work with this. Hello? Alright, that was weird. I shall get... When I get motivation to finish on missile surprise drawing, that's the information I started months ago. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into... Into shit that I used to do as well. I need to. I've been hyper fixating on crocheting. I, I don't know. I just, just, you know, because when you have hobbies, at least you can kind of keep your mind occupied. But now it's just I get sad, and then I'm just sad. I'm sorry, Bab. Yeah, it's all right. Is what there the anything fuck? I can do to at least make you more comfortable? Uh, blow my brains out. Jameson. Buy me some of that spaghetti sauce. Um, we have a ton of pasta sauce. <laughs> that cat scared me so bad I jumped. Jameson, pat, pat. I'll be fine. Fuck it. Wait, it's fine. what? What cat? What? That, that one you were just fighting. Oh. All right. Let me see. Why do you have eighty notifications on Discord? Jesus Christ. Because there's a Marcus Red button, you know. I just don't use it. I'm sorry. I get too stressed out about it. What do you mean? What are you doing? I'm sending the cat back to missiles. So I don't forget this time. Bad. I talk to Missile all the time. You fucking hear? Oh. Why is this weird? Because it's not under your friend, silly. Oh. What is your default choice for spaghetti sauce? We just get, like, regular, like, uh, pr prego? No. Ragu? We, what is it we get? We get, um, prego extra chunky vegetable. Well, yeah, we get that, and then I just add, act I, I just add more fucking seasoning and shit to it to make it, like good good honestly that shit doesn't give me horrid heartburn and it just tastes better yeah because i add the shit to it and then for my pasta i like to add in uh sauteed mushrooms it appears that missile is not your friend what <laughs> it says you're not friends on discord i need to friend him then I thought i was friended him it's weird i talk with a ton of people and then i just don't realize we're friended i mean it happens. Let's see. 
Hold on, Janus, I'm gonna send you a funny. Okay. I'll buy some good stuff in black market, you know what I mean? Those good old gratitude crystals. Good old gratitude crystals. Let me see, where the hell is beans in here? I recently did do a uh, purge. Oh, you just skip past a ton of beans. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. That's a good one. I want to make some lasagna so badly. Oh, I haven't had lasagna in fucking a hot minute. I don't think there's a Sheikah stone there anymore. Was there one to begin with? Yeah, I thought after the sword trial, but I thought maybe I was mistaken. Oh, I have been blipped. All right, y'all. Here, Janison, with my PSA for librarians, occasionally check how the world book encyclopedia is arranged on your shelves. Weird cock. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's good shit. Uh, man, sorry. I, like, just realized I didn't process the last, like, 15 minutes of what we're doing. Uh, where are we going now? Uh, we're going to the fun land. Cool. Actually, one of my more favorite areas in this game. Okay. What I really like is that all of the... Spoiler alert. All three areas of this game I actually enjoy. Normally, there's, like one or two areas in a zelda game i'm kind of eh on mm -hmm. but i actually thoroughly enjoy each area i mean since there's only three they can focus on making them more polished i mean i do yeah. kind of wish there was more just for the sake of like just area variety but like it's yeah. like it's not a huge deal it's just, it, i it, wish there was dlc for more i mean hey the switch can do dlc a lot better than the wii u could who, knows, who fucking knows at this point who knows See a brick getting thrown through one of the boxes and tied to it right about now, dude. I want to. I want to try making lasagna again. We could make lasagna this week, babe. You don't like lasagna, though. I don't mind lasagna. It's just sometimes the texture of the ricotta cheese makes me a little funky. Well, we could use whatever cheese you wanted. Well, it's not lasagna without ricotta. It's just again sometimes instead of ricotta, my mom would use cottage cheese. So it's like I would like to have real lasagna by you. What? Yeah. It was like improvising. Babby. Bab. No. <laughs> Bab. Where did you go? Baby? Bab? Bab? Jameson. I need a fucking minute. No. <laughs> Did he leave? The Italian is running away. Jameson. Your mom did what? <laughs> yeah. She perverts food. And ruins it. I didn't hear what happened. Fucking say, say it again. Instead of using ricotta, your mom used what in lasagna? Cottage cheese. Lumpy. <laughs> you can't just do that. Not for long. You just... You can't, you can't do that! Oh my fuck. My dad does that to use a small curtain. Yeah, but like, I know what Shannon means. It's It was a full-on replacement. As in, like, that shit was like 30% cottage cheese. Yep. Ugh. We can make lasagna. Yeah, I fucking I, have I to now. I want to make genuine lasagna. Just not my mom's lasagna. Yeah, I fucking have to. And now. she would instead of noodles, she'd do zucchini. So she'd slice zucchini the long way. For zucchini noodles. Your mom's the kind of dumb bitch who like like comments on those recipes online. Like I substituted eight things that didn't come out right. This recipe sucks. Yes. Just hit the fucking block. Or I do the same thing to your mother. I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, well, too bad. Now I'm more upset than I've ever have been. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ugh. Zucchini's not even good. Zucchini's terrible. Like, you could literally- you literally could just chop up vegetables and put it in, like, with the meat in lasagna. Like, you, you'd be a monster, but, like, you could. Zucchini in lasagna, fine, but it's like, you need the noodles, but also, like, 
No, yeah, she would just put the raw zucchini in, so it was like dripping wet, and it was more of a soup. Oh. When my damaged lasagna, it's a 16 ounce tub of small curd cottage cheese, six, a pound or more of hamburger, tomato sauce, onion, like a pound of mozzarella in those oven ready lasagna noodles. I see, there you go. Like onion. You, you add onion. That's your fucking vegetable. You don't put maybe peppers, I guess. If and you're I mean tomato weird. sauce, technically. It's just a blend of different veggies. Tomato sauce is fruit juice. Um, you fucking. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I love the moles. Yeah. We don't see these guys in any other Zelda games, do we? Right. Tomato sauce in a smoothie. <laughs> see, Druid gets it. Um. No, what? Ugh, what? Ugh. How? Ugh. Ricotta is a little gross to touch. I mean, fair enough, but like, you don't. You just. Like, you don't make it worse. Seeing the bird statues remind me, can I say how ridiculous what people call the Scarlet Sword Amiibo paywall is stupid and shouldn't exist? You know, all it does enable you to return to the surface anytime. But even without it there, a good amount of bird statues are there for you to use the game. It's pointless to get mad. Yes, seriously. Yes. We, I, I 100% agree with you. I said whoever that, just said that. Splishy did. I said, Splishy. I said that during like the, the first episode. Like, you're literally within spitting distance of a bird statue the entire fucking game. Like, it's li like. Normally, I would be mad because I don't like save points. However, Skyward Sword, they actually do save points correctly. Yeah. Where it's like two seconds to any bird statue. If, if anything, you know, if I was like a hardcore, like amiibo kind of person, because like I, if I ever own, if I was ever going to buy an amiibo, it would just be to have the statue. I wouldn't really give a shit what it did. I wish they had a Link one and a Zelda one, and then I'd get them both. Uh, well, I mean, there's the Smash Amiibos. Yeah, but I had the Smash one, and then yeah. it's... But it's not quite the same for Skyward Sword, you know? But it's like, if any... if Anyway, if anything, I'd be a little more... I'd be kind of pissed if it... That that's all it did, because that that's, like, Splishy said, like, it's... It's pretty unnecessary. Like, okay, yeah, it's neat, but it's like... So? You know? Yeah. I want to get it for decoration, honestly. Mm. My dad uses cottage cheese mainly because it's less work than making ricotta blend and trying to smear that on the lasagna. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I love that amiibo. Looks really good. I also want to make stuffed pasta shells. Ooh, mm. that's good shit right there. I hated the sh the stuffed shells that would give us some like uh, school because like the cheese they used was like awful. Yeah. This giant weird tube noodles. God, you're making me fucking hungry. Ro I haven't eaten eye. since like three, so I should probably make food after stream. What was the What was the Skyward Sword amiibo again? Let me look this up. Skyward Sword. Let me see. Oh yeah, Zelda with her bird, yeah. Yeah. There, that's that's nice. Fuck. Oh yeah, people were like just so pissy that like the game was like full price. It's like, yeah, every game is full price. What do you what do you mean? Yeah, I know. And it's like this is actually a really good it's not even a port, it's like they did quality of life changes that's worth buying it again. Yeah. People just like to bitch. Yeah. And like honestly, this is my favorite Zelda game when it comes to plot and storyline. I think it does a really great job of using the silent protagonist, but also showing he has emotion and isn't a piece of cardboard. Yeah. And it's just frustrating to feel like this game was so hated when it, I think it's such a good direction for Zelda, like a traditional mm. Zelda style like this. Cause I love Breath of the Wild, but I don't want every Zelda game like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like, like this is the last traditional game we've had in a while. Yeah, and you're using, you stuffing. Ports. Oh, I love them. When you're stuffing any kind of pasta, but using some damn good fucking filling, damn right. Um, I don't even own the Switch or a so I've had money, I would just have it cause it looks really good and detailed. It's almost like the original Scarlet Sword was full price. Yeah, seriously. Like, every time, like, a remake comes out, people are, like, surprised it's full price. But it's, like, most of the time, remakes are full price unless they're on, like, PC or, like, Steam or something. Mm. Like, most console, full, like, they're usually full price. Like, at least at first, you know? Yeah. You're sitting on a drum. And it's, like... It's an HD remake, and it's not like it's a direct port. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It's, the quality of life changes for me is what makes it worth it. I love these mole people. Whoops, I have a new favorite. I like his little soul patch and emo hair. I... Oh, yeah, bomb bowling. Uh, yeah. Right. I love the moles. I, I, I do. I love them a lot. I think they're super dope. Mm-hmm. I will never, I will never not be mad about what I paid for Sword. Yeah, I, I, I paid, I, I played Sword for free and I still felt cheated. <laughs> like. Oh God. 
<laughs> That's a big boy. <laughs> Sorry, I got a tangent about this. I never played Skyward Sword with the bosses. I love No, the bosses in this game are cool. I think the bosses, the dungeon design, the plot, a lot of things about this game are great. They got overshadowed by the issues that were with this game because they were glaring issues. Yeah, yeah. Cause... And I feel like this is turning into my favorite Zelda game because it definitely plays a lot better. Yeah, because you can use an actual fucking controller now. Like, imagine. I love the Wii. I absolutely love the Wii. And it's a very important console in terms of, like, video but game man, history. But, man, it sounds like a helicopter is taking off. Well, not even that. It's just, like... That's when you play Brawl. Yeah, that's more Brawl's fault than the Wii, to be honest. But, um, because dual air discs are interesting. But that yeah. the tangent, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, it's like, when, it, Wii, great system. Historically important system. It sold all, it's one of the best selling systems of all time for great reason. Everyone on, everyone owned a fucking Wii. But it's like, hot damn, when they forced those motion controls, it was rough. You know? Yeah. Like, it, Wii Motion Plus helped. Wii Motion Plus helped a lot, but shit dude i would ra literally all they had to do to make people like or even love skyward sword was give you the option to plug in a gamecube controller and use twilight princess's controls that's all yeah like that's literally that's all like and, and that they did that and improved i'm really liking the dialogue skipping that was a huge thing for me with this game because no matter what it's like okay i understand yes i get it i have to roll a bomb uh-huh mm -hmm. and it's like i've played zelda games before i know how to do it yeah and now i can just skip past it and mm -hmm. a lot of that tutorial shit's gone still not the best selling console of all time that is true that's still the ps2 because it was, because back in the day the ps2 was also a, a dvd player which doesn't sound like a big deal now but DVD players used to be like six hundred fucking dollars for some reason, and the PS2 was like what two, not two, like three hundred, and it, for a game console and a DVD player, so people were like, "Fuck it, it's just it'd be stupid not to buy it," because then even if you don't play a lot of video games, you just got yourself a cheap DVD player. I forgot about these things. They're cute. Spoiler right here. I know people get mad when you have to fight the imprisoned fight multiple times, but the fight creeps me out, makes you tense. Because you got to stop forgetting the top, and you got stamina to watch. The theme is good, makes you nervous. I'm biased because I love creepy monsters, just monsters in general, but it's one of my favorite bosses. It's on my favorite bosses list. I like the imprisoned. I just don't like how it's the same exact stick three times. Yeah. If they slightly changed it, that would make me feel at least a little bit better about yeah, he it. He only really changes like the last fight, right? Yeah. Because that's when he starts like flying and shit or something. Yeah. Yeah, it, like it was like a bit of a more. I I agree with the sentiment, uh, like with Splishy, like the the atmosphere is great, but yeah. the uh, I I do also agree with you to the point where it's like, yeah, I would have preferred if they if they just changed it up a little bit. Like if they gave like different. Just give him like one. Give him, like, if you're gonna keep the imprison for three fights. Just, just give him like one new attack per cycle. That's all. Like just one more thing you have to worry about. Yeah. Because like the, the 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 is it the third fight where you have like the cannon? Yeah. And shit like that was the best one because like it was like different. Yeah. You know like that was cool. If it was like the second fight was with the cannon and then the third one was some other thing on top of that, that'd be I wouldn't even be complaining. Yeah, I do think it's ridiculous how much people bitch about this game though because it's a fucking good game ignoring the motion controls it's like fine like i said without the shitty controls it's like a b you know like honestly yeah anything he just walks and slides and occasionally stomps yeah yeah this game is turning into my favorite honestly with like my big issue was the controls and the imprisoned but the imprisoned i i i get the reason why he's there it's yeah. not like he's there and it's not plot important if and it's it, a plot important piece, I'm less upset about it, if that makes sense. Not to mention, you know, it could be worse. Like, it's only three times. And, right. And they're pretty spaced apart. It's not like you have to... Because there are some games we have to do bullshit and, like, fight, like, the same boss and, like, multiple... Even in... Yeah. I'm trying to think. I feel like there's an example in Zelda. Um, I, I just... I feel like there's an example in Zelda. Is there a Zelda I'm game? so happy about this remake because this game needed it. Is there a Zelda game where you have to fight like, the same guy multiple times and it's super like like the uh, imprisoned? Link's Awakening, I think, actually. Link's. Mm -hmm. Link's Awakening's bosses were pretty unique. Um. Oh, you know, uh, it was it's not it's not like a boss fight, but like the the like fight tutorials and Twilight Princess you have to do oh. with like skeleton Link and like it yep. barely works. Fuck that. You had to do like twelve of those. I'd rather fight the imprisoned twelve times and deal with that again. Yeah. Like again, again, not really like a boss fight, but it's the, it's the first thing that popped in my head.
So I like drop the topic away. I had to bring this. I'm not, dude. You're good. Fucking talk about whatever. There's a goddess cube. Don't let me forget because I don't think I can get that high. <laughs> just go. <gotta, laughs> never mind. What? Never yeah, mind. I was gonna make a joke about just a joke about drugs. No, don't fucking worry about it. Oh my god. Why? You don't even do the drugs. You don't even drink coffee. That makes it funnier. Listen, I, I, my, me not drinking coffee has nothing to do with the caffeine, because I'll drink copious amounts of soda. It's because I just think coffee's gross. I know. And I know, I know, put more sugar and milk in it. I've tried, all right? It's still bad. It's the coffee taste itself I don't like. Ooh. I almost got an ice cube up my nose. How the fuck do you manage that? Ooh, did it, it have up. that before? Yes. Yes, I think so. I think we had to bomb it first. I don't know if we got it that You early. know what? I'm just going to look up all the quality of life shit. We might spoil it a little for ourselves, but I'm, I'm too curious. Yeah. Skyward. Because, like, they made a lot of changes to this, and I think they did an amazing job with it. Let's see. Not going to lie. All the big shit in this game that used to bother the piss out of me. Look, he's pogging. He is. Who's pogging? Yeah. He in prison. Uh, I like see. his little jelly toes. So sweet. Um, one more more. Advice advanced optional, choose new control schemes, add ability to speed through dialogue, ensure that execution not creating blah blah blah. Ability to skip cutscenes. Less info dump. Auto saves, yeah. Uh, so that's statue. everything I've noticed. Okay. Yeah, that is weird. They didn't mention in like their little trailer that like yeah, it has auto saves, but I guess. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's just th that kind of shit then. I mean, it's all shit that like needed yeah. it. Shan just likes making Link faceplant. Don't don't you like seeing Link faceplant? No, I do. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking cool. Look at that. That's awesome. There's a fucking crowd on in prison. I love that. Um. All right, man. Sorry, I had to do that. That was gonna bother me if I didn't. You good? Fun part, fun part, fun part. See, like, look, look, looking at this game and looking at, like, the other remakes, because, like, pretty yeah, much cool. pretty much all the, the remakes for Zelda are pretty good, you know? And it's, like, it just makes me more curious, like, when they finally go back to the traditional Zelda, like, what are, like, what, what are they going to do, you know? Because, mm. like, doesn't this, with this game, does that mean every 3D Zelda has been remade already? Because we had uh, Ocarina of Time, so. we had Ocarina of Time with Rose Mask on the 3DS, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on the Wii U. This, for this now, you I, obviously Breath of the Wild didn't get remade, but there, four swords technically. It's four swords in 3D. It was one of those games with 3D graphics on a 2D in a 2D yeah. game field. Because I'm not counting that. Because that, then in that case, we'd also be counting, like, Link Between Worlds. Because, like, yeah, that's a 3DS game, but it's a top-down game. I want to have a mole friend, Sam. Yeah, no, that's every 3D Zelda. <laughs> They've remade every 3D Zelda before they made a new, non-Breath of the Wild-esque 3D Zelda. Man. And even that, even if you think about Breath of the Wild, like, technically speaking, you know, there was the Wii U version, and then they made the Switch version later. Yeah. You know, like, you, obviously that's more of a port, but it also runs way better on the Switch, so I might even count that, you know? Yeah. What's this? Zelda Lord is a twisted mindless monster formed from your friend and the ancient guy hate destruction. If you let it reach the temple, the whole fucking world will end. The boss in question. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> uh, see that's one of the reasons i actually do like zelda because its franchise is fucking ridiculous yeah i feel like zelda takes itself just the right amount of seriously yeah like like it has like these dramatic moments and then we're talking to a mall guy named knackle 
The fighting question revolves around hitting his toes. Oh, actually, wait, hold on. Yay, don't, digging mitts. Don't we have a fucking... There we go. <laughs> Oof. Uh, yeah, that's how long ago we played this game. The quotes are only still in the hundreds. Oh my. <laughs> Dig. I gotta say, I really like the digging mitts. I kind of wish they'd bring them back. It's so useful. <laughs> you can be animal, Kirby. You never played Squeak Squad. No. So, Squeak Squad, there's a Kirby ability that's really just called Animal Kirby, and it's like this. You get to, like, dig in, like, dirt and shit. Mm -hmm. And he is my favorite copy ability, I think, just because... Look at him. I love him. How do I get that chest? Uh, buy our dinner first. Jameson. Yeah, baby. Hmm. Crack me like a glow stick, Shannon. Then try and die. Want to see my imprisoned cosplay? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, oh, love it. Love I want to know how to get that chest. It's gonna bother me. I think that's like a hole I have to drop through or something. Probably. I recognize that room. I'll go back to that in a minute. Oh yeah, it's up here. We We give franchises like Kachi and Mega Sangue on over again, but Nintendo's been doing it for years. Yeah. But but on the other hand. The games Nintendo make are still just more fun than Call of Duty, and I think that's where it really boils, what it really boils down to. Yeah, they and make, I think they've remakes made... are necessary. I just, I think Nintendo has a better, better timing for remakes yeah. compared to other places, which is like, we immediately put it on the new system. Right. You know, because it's like Pokemon's been making the same game for years, and up until Sword and Shield, they were fun, so no one really gave a shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Have they ever actually remade Call of Duty games? Yes, I think so. I don't know, I don't really play COD. Me either. I only really play it was zombies. One of these. Fuck. My favorite Kirby was ability. No. Oh yeah, bubble. Bubble look at look at bubble. We need to play Squeak Squad. Aw, oh, I was close. It's a different one. I'm starting from the far right. All right. Sorry, this might take a few tries because otherwise it's gonna bother the shit out of me. I know it's probably like an or, dude, but you're good. still. I think they'd rather watch you do it than completely forget to do it, and then three streams later we're like, "Fuck, I need to go back because it's something important." Yeah. You know, because if it is an or or something, you know, we want it. Please. There you go. See, so it only took like two tries. You're fine. Mint. Fifty rupees. I do want to check the other one, though, because I I think that leads to a secret. That was, that was hopeful. We did need Elden Ore, though. Yes. So it's good. Like when you play C4 and combine Sword and Flame and just have a fucking flaming greatsword come out of Kirby's mouth. Yeah, I, I wish they'd bring that back, like the, the combining ability system. I know, like, Kirby abilities are a lot more, like, in-depth now than they were back then, but... Come back to this god for to fish forsaken level four streams later. Like I missed one singular item. We've been there. Yeah. I feel like that has happened, unfortunately. Oh, oh. It's just back in this room. And okay. we're, we're all like, who cares? Shit like that bothers me. I'm like a completionist when it comes to Zelda games. And most games, honestly. Yeah. That's why I like games that are super long, like Animal Crossing, because it's like, oh, you gotta get every single one of them. Yeah, I've had to tell Shannon, like, we can't do certain games, because I know the way she plays, we play them for, like, a year and a half. Stardew. Actually, no, Stardew I was fine with. It was, uh... What, what was the other one? It was some, it was some similar... Mineral Town. No, mm, no, Mineral Town... I love Mineral Town. I want to pick that up again. No, what was it? No, because I, I remember I said Stardew would be fine, because Stardew does have an ending. And that's even multiplayer, too. Look at this chaotic energy. I love him. I remember I was I remember <laughs> I was on the phone with Logan when we were kids, helping him 100% Kirby 64. <laughs> uh, I remember... Oh, my fucking God. So, uh, my grandpa was... Um, a old grumpy Italian guy. It runs in the family, you see. 
Um, mm. And so, th and this was before, like, I had a cell phone. I was like 12, 13. So I was at my grandpa's house and I wanted, I, I called Logan with my grandparents' phone. And I was like, okay. And I was like, uh, I was helping him with that. And I was like, hey, I'll, now I told him like, I'll call you back in a little while when I'm home. But I guess Logan needed to ask me something, so we, he hit redial on the thing from my grandpa's phone. And my grandpa picked up the phone and obviously didn't recognize the voice because it was just some 13-year-old kid. And my grandpa goes, who the fuck is this? And Logan panicked and hung up. Oh, poor <laughs> little Logan lore. Oh, God. We Logan lore. Oh, God, that's so fucking funny. I wonder if he remembers that. I don't know. Let's see, there's Stardew, Starbound, Terraria, Don't Starve, Minecraft. I want to replay Kirby 64, oh boy. <laughs> oh god. I would message, I would just message him on Discord. <laughs> just hit up Logan at like midnight and be like, remember my grandpa yelled at you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, Logan, uh... Hopefully sometime soon, Logan is going to be joining us for a, a Let's Play. Yep. Um, Fuck yeah. So, here's hoping that can be sometime sooner rather than later. He <laughs> 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 Jameson's grandpa. I'm back, bitch. When we were doing that, that bit during one of the earlier streams, he's like, I've set up nightmares about it. When, when we were doing that one stream where we were talking about, like, me and Logan's old YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I, I sent him the link, and I was like, don't let anyone see this. And he was like, oh my fucking god, why are these still up? <laughs> Oof. Oh. Man. I've known that I've known that guy for a lot of years. Yeah. Those fire monkeys are terrifying. Are they monkeys? I'm gonna have nightmares about that. Yeah. All right. Now that I'm all disoriented. There's a chest over there. No, oh, it's already been opened. Yeah. Okay. A bird statue. They sound like it. No, fair enough. Yeah, I'm going the right way. <gasps> yeah. See, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. There's a there's some wind and a diggy spot. Uh, alright, to bring this back to what we were talking about, like, fucking a while ago. Like, yeah, they, they remade every 3D Zelda game, but now that I'm thinking about it, they also remade Link's Awakening. Yeah. So, like, that's... I kind of want them to do Oracle Seasons and Ages. They fucking might, considering they don't seem to be very keen on giving us any new Zelda game anytime soon. Which sucks, because I miss the traditional Zelda. Like this. Yeah, because Breath of the Wild 2, or I'm sorry, the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, because we can't come up with a title for some fucking reason, is not coming out till 2022. Yeah, and so. I'm excited for it, but I do miss the traditional Zelda, because this is the last traditional yeah. Zelda we've had. And honestly, since they know it'll make them money, I wouldn't be shocked if Breath of the Wild 2 doesn't come out until, like, Christmas 2022. Yeah. Like, I'd honestly be kind of shocked if it came out too much earlier than that. I don't know if Zelda is like Pokemon, that they kind of have patterns when they come out, because Pokemon usually comes out roughly around the same year every time. I don't know yeah. if Zelda is similar, but I would, if, assuming they don't give a shit about any arbitrary patterns, I would not be shocked if it was like, yeah, like, like November, December. Yeah, it's um, usually November, December. It's usually when they Which, line up the big shit. When that comes out, I want that for Christmas. <laughs> okay, Santa! <laughs> Thank you. I still have tiny, tiny hope that Pokemon Conquest might come back. I mean, honestly, if, I wouldn't be surprised if they did a new Pokemon Conquest, but instead of crossing it over with whatever the, the game was called, like Nabongo's Ambition, they just crossed over Fire Emblem. Because it's similar gameplay, and Fire Emblem is huge now. The next games in line for a remake are Gen 5? Shut up, Druid. Don't. Don't let them ruin Gen 5. We, we haven't even gotten the damn Diamond and Pearl remakes yet, alright? Like, we gotta slow your damn roll. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay. Cutscene invincibility. Hey. Oh. Love her design. All right. The graphics for the remake look so much better in the old Switch show. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't mind the the Diamond and Pearl remake art style. Like honestly, yeah. like I, I like it. It's you know, it's, I, I feel like it's uh, well, how am I put? It? How do I put this? Because you remember like Gen Six were like, they, it was like almost chibi, but like not really, and it looked kind of weird because like a weird in between. Mm -hmm. I, I like that they're fully committing to like the chibi idea. I get it's not everyone's cup of tea, but people. I hate when people look at a game like, oh, the graphics are bad. This game's going to suck. It's like, motherfucker. People are going to be mad about any kind of remake. Some yeah. people are just anal about it. It's like, motherfucker, one of the, one of the most best-selling video games in the history of human history is fucking Minecraft. And that game looks like ass. It's fucking just cubes, dude. Yeah. Like, I love them totally buying Pearl. I don't know which one I'll get. I got Diamond as a kid, but I don't know. It's almost like they're using the original style. Yeah, exactly. You leave my cubes alone. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I would prefer if a game looks good and, you know, there's something to be said about, like, an art style, but it's like... It's like, you know, if the game is fun, that's the important part, you know? As long as I can tell what everything is supposed to be, that's good enough for me. I'm a simple man. It also might be because most of the games I like to play are old as shit back when they didn't give a fuck about graphics, like, at all. Yeah. But. I don't know. I am I'm very cautiously optimistic for uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Very, very, very cautiously optimistic. Because on the one hand, it's like, if they just port it, basically, and give it better graphics, it's like, Gen 4 is already good. You know, like, yeah. they, all they gotta do is make sure they keep the improvements from Platinum, but at the same time... Maybe if they added shit so you could, like, pet them, that might be cute. I, I'm sure Pokemon and me will be in it, because, like, it's just, it would have to be. Get Diamond so I can force you to trade me Dialga for Pokedex and trade it back. Alright, fair enough. I'm getting Diamond because I hate Palkia, so... Don't like Palkia? Yeah. Not a fan of... Not a fan of big water dragon boy? Girl? Thing? Yeet. Fuck. Yeet. Big. Never did. Always preferred Dialga. I, I always preferred Dialga as well. Dialga's a cool boy. That That's literally how I always have picked which game to get. Just whichever legendary on the cover looks cooler. I look up nothing else about the game. I'm like, that looks cool. Same. Well, that's the only way to do it, dude. It, it was good enough for it was good enough for nine-year-old Jameson and Druid. It's good enough for adult Jameson and Druid. Am I right? I can't decide based on that next thing. Okay, version exclusives. Yeah. Some games get really fucked over on the version exclusive front. It's almost it's almost sad. <laughs> Some games are super imbalanced about it. I'm gonna go on a Let's Go tangent. I like Let's Go. I thought it was cute. Not the biggest fan. I always say this to people like Trash Top Down Pro Remakes. Be grateful. It's not Let's Go Diamond and Pearl. Oh, dude, yeah. Literally, though. God, can you imagine? Not only There would be people that were pissed that that's what it was, and then there'd be people that would be pissed that they skipped over Johto and Hoenn, too. Like, it'd be the, that'd be the biggest shitstorm ever. See, like, I hate Zacian and Zamazenta, but Sword has more of the box legendaries I like. Don't hate us. Don't want another Let's Go game. Yeah, me neither. I would prefer if we never got another Let's Go game. I would like Zacian's design more if the sword was part of it. Like, if, like, it had, like, a horn that was, like, a sword, or if its tail was, like, a sword or something. Because, like, Zamazenta, at least the shield is, like, its mane or whatever. I'm sorry. Hey, babe. How's it going? Welcome to Pokemon You're with fine. Zelda in the background. Oh man, I am hungry. Poop bug, poop bug. Poop bug. 
Oh my god, shut up. Oh. Goodbye. Uh, just so you know, uh, we got about five minutes left. I don't know if you like we're close Sounds to a good. safe point or whatever. I am close to the next dungeon. Okay. Cool. They did like a shield dragon and a horse sword. Yeah. I mean, else yeah, they, they do kind of look like exactly the same Pokemon almost. I don't mind their designs, but I would have I would have preferred they were a bit different as well. Yeah. And then, we, and then we got the DLC where we got Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2 and uh, good old good old Calyrex, Sheriff Calyrex, the longest legs in the West. Hello. You never, I, we've, we've gone over this before, but I'll show it to you again because your memory betrays you and it makes for entertaining content. It's not great. It actually really worries me. Because so. like Alzheimer's runs in my family and I realize I'm 23, but like damn. So, with the Sword and Shield DLC, we got uh, three new legendary Pokemon, okay? Okay. We got Spectrier, who's a ghost horse. He's kind of cool. Uh, we got, here's a picture of both of them. And we also got Glastrier, the ice horse, who is mm. also cool. It's all right. Get it? Cool. We got Thanks, babe. Calyrex, who is a deer mutant thing. That's fucking weird. And Calyrex, uh, I don't really know the lore. I guess he's like the king or some shit. And he, uh, he can ride them. That's weird. Yep. I don't like that. You wanna know the funniest part? Uh, Calyrex riding Spectrier, uh, Shadow Rider, uh, Calyrex is the most powerful Pokemon in the game in competitive right now. What the fuck? It has over 70% usage in Ubers. Oh. Yep. It, they're talking about banning it. Wow. <laughs> um, they already banned Zacian. <laughs> Both forms, actually. <laughs> um, cool, they give Rapidash a winged evolution. God damn it. I love him. The DLC gave me a soft spot for him. I don't mind. I like the idea. Like, you know, he just jumps on a horse. But, like... I think I would have liked it more if he, like, physically combined with them and turned into, like, some sort of centaur abomination. But yeah. That's just me. Oh, uh, also fun fact, Spectrier got banned from OU as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Spectrier's really good. It literally, like, only learns Shadow Ball. Like, it has, like, no moves, but doesn't need them. Also, it literally has two abilities because you're sending out two Pokemon at the same time. Yeah, that, yeah. It literally, it has two, it has one ability that is literally just the two abilities at once. Because it's two Pokemon, which is somehow not cheating. Oh. I like that. I like that little fan art of Calyrex. It's cute. Um, but yeah, now that we've gone on a Pokemon tangent, um, is it time to wrap up? In a minute. All right. I want to get the key pieces, so I'm like right there. Okay. I know so it'll be just a couple minutes over if that's good with you. No, no, that's fine. I just, I, whenever we play a game that's based around save points, I just like to make sure that we. Fuck. I, I, I like to make sure we're aware of how long we have left, so that way we're not, like, fucking ourselves. Yeah. Spending 20 minutes trying to find a save point. That's the main reason uh, I don't like save. I mean, worse comes to worse, we can just put the Switch in sleep mode, but still. No, it'll be fine. That's what I did, apparently. I'm very hungry. What are we having for dinner? Uh, you said meatballs, I think. Meatballs might be good. Oh, Janison, I desire your 3DS randomization wisdom. Like, you need to know what program I use, or... Oh, hello. Switch, what's this? <laughs> oh, look at him. Okay, that's adorable. I love him. Yes, how do. Okay, let me... Uh, I have it in here somewhere. Uh, I know Citra's the best starter on equipment before. Yeah, Citra's good. And then, hold on, it should be on here. I might have to just, like, message you on Discord after, because it's under, like, my profile on the computer, and I don't know where I would even look for it in here on the channel side. Hang 
Let's go up there. Is this the good one? I found like one that was shit and then I found like a good one. Ah, oh, here it is. This is a good one. Um, the one I used, it was called uh, Pokey Rando ZX. And it's literally like someone took the old coding for the randomizer they used for the Gen 3 games and it, you, you just, it just works. It, it's like the exact same interface. Fucking min, because next on the list is black and white randomizer soul the only reason we got covered to agree to that one is if we did auras after that okay um i can try to find a link for you after the stream if for whatever reason you can't find it but pokey rando zx is what i use because i found other ones and like some like randomizer like like some rom uh soldered on ds hacks forms and like it didn't work at all like it wasn't updated mm -hmm. so that was the one i found and it worked fine for me Doing Nuzlocke and shit will be fun eventually. If we ever did do, uh, I want to do Zelda randomizers honestly. If we ever did like a Nuzlocke on the channel, it would probably just be a randomizer to make it more interesting. That's usually how I do Nuzlocke's, honestly. I love how the bomb hit you while the little explosion hit you hit you off screen. <laughs> yep. Same. What's up, Splish? What is your question, Famo? I wonder if we have mac and cheese. I don't know. Probably. I mean, if we have spaghetti and cheese, we could just make mac and cheese. I mean, yeah, but either or is fine. Spaghetti and cheese is always good, babe. It's all fucking Alfredo is. Yeah. Just fancy person mac and cheese. You know what? You ready? Jameson, I need to leech your heart gold knowledge during the next call. You can leech my heart gold knowledge right now if you want. Chance to looking for the last key piece. I am. Are there pretty are there pretty whammon slash Gerudo in this game? I don't. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Worst Zelda game, zero out of ten. No. Oh, I don't think I can do this part yet. Heart gold knowledge, such as. Yeah, I was gonna say like you could you could definitely leech, but uh. I could hop in the VC after after stream. Feel ripped off. You should. Yeah, because after this, um, I'm gonna cook dinner, but I'll probably pop on VC on my well, I can't on my phone. I have to charge it. But I came to the pixelated broadcast stream to see pretty whammon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ugh. Sorry, I'm like also a lawnmower. I just that is such a habit. Hey, we're gonna need the money. Exactly. We came for titty. There is no titty, but it's okay because Shannon's already here. <laughs> general stuff. I don't know. You guys have general lore, but I guess game lore works too. Okay. Whatever you need. Trust. If it's question about Pokemon, I'm. I am. That's pretty much all I'm good for. Wigs. You're good for so much more than that, Bab. I that, love you. That's that, you know that that is true. I know a decent amount about Yu-Gi-Oh too. Oh my god, you drive me crazy. And I say that in the best way possible. We are fountains of useless Pokemon trivia. That is yes. that's completely true. Between me, Druid, I'm... between me, Druid, and Dusk, we'll teach you everything you need to know about a game you may or may not give a fuck about. Yeah, it's like at 4 a.m. By the way, Shannon, did you know in like Gen 3? This happened and this happened. I'm like, oh my god, Bab. I love you, but I'm trying to sleep. Jameson friggin' don't even come over there. Did you know? Ah. <laughs> Gen 3 trivia, huh? Um. In Generation 3, what Deoxys form you got depended on what game you had. It wasn't until Generation 4 you could freely switch Deoxys forms. Isn't that weird? That's me with Graham, but with Monster Hunter. <laughs> I gotta play Monster Hunter too. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me I should just fucking play Monster Hunter because, like, I it seems like the kind of game I would enjoy. 
One of my friends at work is reading a Monster Hunter, apparently. He was telling me it's a, it's a, it's a fun time as well. Piece of the key. Oh. Yes. Yep. Graham I do have to go through there. Graham hates Monster Hunter, but he somehow tolerates my rants. How about this? I'm Dungeon 4. There's no celebration of physical or special moves. Any moves, those fire, water, electric, psychic, dark, or drag was special. The rest were physical. That is true. For some reason, they made ghost physical. When every single ghost type, except for, like, Bayonet, up until Gen 4, had garbage attack. Whee. The only reason I can remember that is because all the special attacks are evil have evolutions except Dragon. That is true. Where the fuck's my Dragon evolution, evolution game freak, you fucking cowards? Oh. You know, in the old school art for Gen 1, uh, Lapras had fangs. What? Hang on. Shit. Yeah, here it is. There's like official old school Ken Sugimori art. I love it. Lapras just going fucking feral. I don't know. I don't know why that's what popped in my head. Oh, shit. Oh. Splishy. God damn it. It's fine. There's a short link. I got it. Alright. Fun fact. This is my favorite Elder Dragon class monster in Monster Hunter. Oh, he is a long lad. He's so cute. Keith. Keith. The fuck's that last key piece? I'm working on it. He's bigger than a... He's bigger than a mountain. Oh! Yeah, close by. What? <laughs> Just fuck those skulls. Yeah. Uh, yeet, yeet, yeet. Shannon, throw it. Oh, there's a little one down there. And then the lava flows out harmlessly. Mm -hmm. And we can we can stand there on that go. ground now for some reason. I was thinking too far ahead again. He's so big when you fight him. This is on the 3DS, by the way. You fight segments of him? Oh. Jesus Christ. That is a big boy. Here he goes. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. It's a hole. What? Calm down, Link. It's just a hole. There we go. Yay. All right, now we ready to hop off? Yes, I just want to save at that save point. Okay. But yeah, we can start saying our goodbyes. Okay. Well, that was fun. Thank you, everybody, for coming in with us as usual. Appreciate y'all. No stream tomorrow, because Wednesday. Um, thank you again to Roy for the gifted subs and thank Yoshi. Thank you. And Yoshi for the resub. Appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out and all that as usual appreciate you and uh should i just cut it when you'll make your way back off screen yeah i'm just making my way back up to that save point okay so nothing we haven't already seen then yeah all right thank you everybody appreciate y'all y'all have yourselves a great night a great great wednesday tomorrow and we'll see you when we see you <laughs> good night everybody <laughs>